You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The spokesperson of the Phnom Penh Municipal Police, San Sok Se Ha, has confirmed to EAC News that authorities have arrested two former opposition activists, Yim Sinon and Hun Kosal, bringing them in for questioning. EAC News reporter Kristen Winters has the story. Interior Ministry spokesperson Kyo So Peak has confirmed to EAC News that the two former opposition activists were arrested for insulting the King of Cambodia. He added that the King had actually previously pardoned these two individuals. Prime Minister Hun Sen also posted a short message addressing the arrest on his Telegram channel, writing, quote, Why did they like to cause trouble? On Tuesday, March 21st, former opposition activist Yom Sinon made a post on his Facebook page writing, according to the chatter you overhear at a cafe, we can clearly see who the real king is. Sinon deleted the post after only a few minutes and followed up with another message, quote, I just posted about the talk I overheard at a cafe, but many people have made connections to other topics, so to avoid misunderstandings, I will delete my earlier post, he wrote. The Prime Minister, however, appeared to have already seen the previous post and commented, quote, there is no need to delete. The head of the Cambodian government also replied to another user's comment, asking if Sinorn would face repercussions for making this post about the king. The Prime Minister responded, saying that it would be strange if this went unpunished, because the post was not just an expression of one's opinion, but a deliberate distortion of the truth. While it is ultimately up to the municipal court to judge this case, the prime minister added, quote, such a rude kid must not be forgiven, especially as he has already been pardoned before. Meanwhile, another former opposition activist, Hun Kotsal, posted a picture of the king with the caption, quote, they hurt and humiliate the king in all ways. As the next generation of politicians, I am determined to use all my ability to join forces with President Kim Soka to protect the king's prestige and the throne that the people of Cambodia cannot be without. The two former activists made these posts in reference to an incident that occurred at the Sea Games torchlighting ceremony held at Angkor Wat, which was presided over by King Noradom Sihamoni on Tuesday morning. During the video live stream of the event, the king's umbrella holder could be seen trying not to block the prime minister's path while the leader was speaking with the king, which inadvertently made it look like he was only trying to provide shade to the prime minister. Later in the video, the prime minister can even be seen instructing the umbrella holder to come closer to try and help shade the king from the sun. Former Cambodian National Rescue Party member Yom Sinon was previously charged with conspiracy to commit treason and for inciting social unrest. The charge was officially dropped after he wrote a letter to the prime minister requesting his intervention, saying that he wished, quote, to live innocently like a normal citizen. As Sinor now finds himself back facing the court, it is unclear whether he will dare to write another letter requesting to be pardoned by the king once again. The prime minister, however, announced at the graduation ceremony for the students of the Vanda Institute on Wednesday morning that he will not be accepting any apologies from those who have insulted the king or damaged his reputation. <laughs> The Prime Minister also asked all TV stations to rebroadcast the Sea Games torch lighting ceremony led by the King on March 21st so that the people could see the Prime Minister's respect for the King themselves. Kristen Winters, EAC News.